Okay, now we're going to talk about stock dividends. Stock dividends is where I actually give you more shares of stock. You don't get cash, but you actually get more shares of stock. And if I send you a stock dividend, you do not have to report it on your taxes until you actually sell that stock. And we'll talk about that. So a stock dividend affects only the stockholder's equity. It doesn't involve any cash, so it does not affect my, affect my cash. But the most important part is I need to know the fair market value at the time that I issue the stock dividend or that I declare the stock dividend. <clears throat> so those three dates, the date of declaration, uh, date of record, and then not date of payment, but date of distribution are the same things with stock dividends. So here's my scenario. On December 15th uh, is going to be my date of declaration. And at that point in time, I have common stock, which is $20 pars. I've got 2 million shares issued. Now, we don't know what it sold for. That's not the issue here. But the $2 million issued times the par value equals the dollar amount value in the common stock account. My paid in capital in excess of par is $9 million. We don't know how many shares are in here. And there are no shares in here. This is all dollar amounts only. So we know we have 2 million shares outstanding. And my retained earning balance at this point in time is 26,600,000. So on December 15th, date of declaration, I'm going to declare a 5% stock dividend, which means I'm going to take $2 million or 2 million shares, see, I'm sorry, I, I make the mistake, times 5%, or I'm going to issue 100,000 shares of stock out. And I'm going to issue it on January 10th, so this is my date of distribution, which will require a journal entry, to stockholders on record of December 31st. December 31st is the date of record, no journal entry. Now, very important here, on stock dividends only, you need to know the market price of the stock on the date of declaration. So on that day, it was selling $31 per share. Very, very important. Okay, here are the journal entries for doing stock dividends. It's a little bit more complicated, so I, I broke it into smaller videos for you. Okay, so I know I'm going to issue 100,000 shares at a $31 per share. So here's my stock dividends. They're going to be uh, 100,000 shares times my $31 is going to be my stock dividends. But I'm going to take the 100,000 shares times the par value of 20 and place it in stock dividends distributable. And then the excess. Remember, I have a par value of $20, but the, the market price was $31. So I have an $11 excess times 100,000 shares is credited to my paid in capital in excess of par. Okay, so here's the journal entry for the date of declaration. Okay, now date of distribution, here's what's going to happen. Here's my journal entry. So my common stock is actually credited for $2 million, and I alleviate or debit my stock dividends distributable. Now, the common stock represents 100,000 shares times the $20 par. So remember, that won't change anything. My common stock account always has to have only the number of shares times the par value. So listen up, guys. A stock dividend does not change assets or liabilities or equity of a corporation. All it really is is I'm divvying up the pie more. I make the pie, the, the pieces of the pie are a little bit different, but nothing changes, okay? So a stock dividend doesn't really change anything. Let me show you on the next slide. Uh, I own, so I'm a stockholder. I'm a stockholder who owns 1,000 shares of a corporation's 10,000 shares outstanding. So basically, I own 10% of their shares. If they declare a 6% stock dividend, my interest is still 10%. Here's what happens before the dividend. I own 10%. After the dividend, so they basically increase the pie, but my percent of the pie still stays 10%. Okay? So 
So nothing really changes in the balance sheets when it comes to a stock dividend.